Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we're looking at another mystery of DCS World. It is, what does the radio assist option mean in our single player options and in our mission editor map options? So, thank you again to Maverick SU35S. The radio assist is nothing else than the missile warning system and if checked it would automatically turn on the missile warning system for the aircraft which normally have something like that available in reality such as the SU-25T, A-10C, F-15, SU-27, MiG-29 and off for those which don't have it in real life helicopters, A-10A, SU-25A, MiG-21, F-18C and so on. From my opinion there is very little unrealism in having this feature turned on by default as the simulated NWS also takes care of missile distance and blind spot angles from which it cannot alert of incoming missiles and it should normally be set to on by Eagle Dynamics when we check the simulation checkbox in the game's menu. Also all modern jets now have NWS equipped on them in order to alert of incoming IR missiles its primary purpose we need to talk about what the MWS system is it's not the same as an RWR an RWR will give you audible warnings and visual warnings of when a radar guided missile is fired at you an NWS is nothing to do with the radar detection at all it literally detects missiles by I think the heat of their engine or something like that and so it can warn you not just of radar guided missiles but of IR guided missiles and sack loss missiles and basically any type of missile even air to ground missiles missiles it can warn you of. It is modelled separately so ignoring the radio assist function it is already modelled in a couple of the planes. Mirage 2000 gets it you probably know A10C gets it that's the only two I think that have got it independently modelled but as an addition we have the ED modelling of it and that is under the radio assist and that's going to give you a verbal warning as you'll see of a missile launch whether they're radar, IR, any type of missile basically with the relevant aircraft so i will punch up dcs and let's go and look at how we turn it on and use it in game now let's go to options we're going to ensure that our radio assists under gameplay are turned on i used to have them off but now i have them on okay so that sets them client side now we're going to set them up for the actual mission which may be something we have to do mission editor here's a mission i prepared earlier we go to our map options the key thing is to ensure that this can work in multiplayer and you may have to do this in single player as well i'm not quite sure is radio assist here ensure that they're ticked on and we can force them on for everyone with that there we're in the mission now we've got two sams this could be air to air missiles but we'll just do ground to air missiles to keep it simple we've got an sa6 there radar guided sam and SA-13 there, Estrella IR guided sound there. So in my particular F-15, without radio assists, we would get warnings from the RWR about this missile being fired, the radar guided missile. Tone warnings only, no verbal warnings, but we would not get any warning from the IR here because the missile working system isn't modeled by default on the F-15. But because the real F-15 we believe does have a real life missile warning system, then when we turn on radio assists, we will get warnings from, verbal warnings from SA-13 here with no no warnings from the RWR and for the SA-6 the radio guarded missiles we will get our normal RWR warnings plus the radio the verbal warnings as well so save time we'll well, we're we'll going to do both shall we we're going to do the Strela first so that is 116 okay let's go and find that bad guy I can make my position clear there I am brr, brr, brr. look I'm up here sound come on shoot me dude see he's not going to play ball ah just take your time Right, he is now going to shoot me. That's just the uh, SA-6. Missile, 9 o'clock low. He's found the missile, flares missile, out. Missile, 12 o'clock high. And I've dodged it. And another missile, one. Missile, 12 o'clock high. Woohoo! That went beautifully. In fact, why don't we go in and nail it? Missile 12 o'clock high. Missile 12 o'clock low. Really? I'm out of flares. <laughs> they are failure. I'm dead. Oh no, I'm still going. Failure. Go, super cap, go. Missed. Okay, I better go and get a new plane and I'll show you the SA6 quickly. Okay, it's going to fly towards the SA6 with radio assists on. Yeah, we just said there's a missile 12 o'clock low. So that is radio assists. Like Suko said, we believe it just works for aircraft that are supposed to have the missile warning system on them. I hope that was useful. See you later.